I'm Tiffany, and this is from Momma's Kitchen. This is where I get to share with you the old-fashioned recipes and skills that I learned from my Momma in her kitchen. A while back, we were down at Paw Paws, and I was going through some of Momma's recipes, where she had written some recipes down, and I came across one, and I took a little video of it so I would have it, and we're going to try to make it today. She had it written down as Kelso Cake. I'm assuming that's probably because it came from Miss Kelso. That would be my guess. Mama and Papa had some good friends. Their last name was Kelso. I can remember going to their house with Mama, and Miss Kelso always had something sweet. We always left with a sweet treat. So I'm, I'm figuring this recipe probably came from her. Now, it looks like Mama just kind of writ, she had written it down. Maybe it's Miss Kelso was telling her. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of directions. So we're going to try this together today and see what happens. So we're going to do the best we can and see how it turns out. It didn't have a temperature to bake it at, uh, just very minimal instructions and an ingredient list. So let's see what happens. I know if, if we do it right, it's going to be good. Well, she actually had this written down in two different places. So apparently she really wanted to keep this recipe. So if we get it right, it's going to be good. Let's try. The first two ingredients are a cup of sugar and a half a cup of shortening packed. And it said to cream those together. So that's what we're going to do first. You can go and put it in there, babe. Let me go get the... Open up the shortening. I've gotten where I don't keep vegetable shortening on hand. Uh, I've just been using lard. But this recipe, I know that's what she would have used. It's Crisco, so we went and got some. Oh, yes. I'm going to let Audrey start creaming this together and I'm going to separate some eggs because for the cake it calls for three egg yolks and the egg whites you put in the icing. So I'm going to get those separated. About busted that yolk. Yeah. Yeah. Teaspoon of vanilla. Mix it. Yeah. It's a cup of milk. So I'm going to put our cup of milk in. And then it says, what, two cups of flour? And it didn't say, I'm assuming we're using self rising because there's not any baking soda baking powder or anything like that in this recipe so i'm going to use self-rising flour Like I said, there was there there were not a whole lot of instructions with this. This is kind of we didn't say what kind of pan to put it in. I don't know if we should use cake pans and turn it out. So we're just gonna put it in this baking dish, and I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and we're gonna watch it and see how long it takes. Thank you. 
think that'll work. The icing for this cake is a cooked icing, which is something that I usually struggle with getting the texture right when I do icings like this. So fingers crossed and let's see how it goes. I did like a makeshift double boiler over here and we're gonna put everything in it. It says to beat with a mixer and a double boiler for seven minutes. That was the instruction. So I'm gonna do my best to follow it. Cup and a half, yeah, a cup and a half of sugar, a quarter cup of cold water, three egg whites, and then I need a dash of salt and a tablespoon of Cairo syrup. You getting the salt? I'll get the Cairo syrup. We have icing and a lot of it. Uh, I told Audrey it's a lot. I think I feel like we made marshmallow fluff. It's not too, too sweet. I really like it. So we just got to wait on our cake to finish and we'll put it together. I wonder, I mean, I guess we heated this. I guess we can put it on the cake when the cake's hot. Or should we let it cool? I'm trying to decide if we need to let the cake cool. I, I, you know, I figure it'll probably stay on it better if we do. I mean, I know we've heated this, but I think we'll let it cool and then put it together. I really enjoy trying these old recipes, even if it means like you know, having to decipher it a little bit and figure it out and try it some different ways uh, because they don't all have. So I was, I was going through, I actually took pictures of several recipes and some of them, the instructions, it's like, you know, she just wrote it down real quick. And so I'm excited to try them. I just love old recipes and especially ones like this that, you know, I'm assuming Momo got this from one of her really good friends and the fact that they shared the recipe with each other. I just, that's so special and it makes me really excited to try it myself. So this has been in the oven for about 35 minutes and it's looking like it's really, really close to done. So I'm about to go ahead and get it out. I was thinking about it, like, do I let it cool before I ice it? I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and let it cool down a little bit, get to about room temperature, and then we'll ice it and try this Kelso cake. This smells so good. It's not quite all the way cooled, but we are getting a little impatient and we're ready to try it. So, we're going to put this on and cut us some, then I'll put it in the refrigerator. the rest of this icing I think it would be good to dip strawberries in so we may do that we're gonna try it Just as good as I expected it to be. You want some? Uh, uh, bite? Uh, uh, All right, I'll give y'all another close up. Y'all try this. Let me know if you do. I'm, I'm glad I did because I'm really enjoying it. We all are. Mom, I'm buying fish. Fish? Yeah. 
You like the Little Mermaid?